Hey everyone, in today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to calculate the zeros of a sine function from which we cannot use the trig circle. So, in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, which is Find the zeros of a sine function, and in brackets, not visible on the trig circle. Finding zeros for a sine function in which the trig circle cannot be used is a little bit more complicated than for the cases where the trig circle can be used, but it's still overall not that difficult as long as you are skilled at your algebra and at using your calculators. With that being said, this type of calculation could be done in two cases. The first case occurs when you know that the sine of the angle produces a positive y-coordinate. To see an example of this, let's work on this example. Calculate the zeros of y equals 4 times the sine of x minus pi, subtract 3. First, don't forget to calculate the period for use in our final conclusion. The period is given by the formula 2 pi divided by absolute value of b. So in this example, it will be 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 1, which gives us a period of 2 pi. This means that our zero will occur every 2 pi radians apart. Next, let's set the value of y to 0. Moving the negative 3 and the 4 to the other side of the equal sign will produce sine of x minus pi is equal to 3 over 4. Now, if you take a look at your trig circle, you cannot see which angle produces a y value of 3 over 4. To determine the possible angle or angles which can cause a y value of 3 over 4 will demand a bit of legwork. For this legwork, I usually do it on the side. One of our angles can be calculated simply by using the inverse sine button on your calculator. So we can simply type in the inverse sine of 3 quarters and that will give us our first possible angle and in this example it will be located at approximately 0 0.85 radians. The big question is how do we determine the second possible angle that can cause a y value of 3 over 4. In order to properly explain how to determine the second possible angle that can cause a y value of 3 over 4, we must show a little graphic. The following graphic shows the angle of 0 0.85 radians which causes the y value to be equal to 3 over 4. As you can see from the graphic, the second possible angle that can cause a y value of 3 over 4 occurs on the other side of the y-axis and that is caused by the angle occurring in this manner. Using the properties of trig points allows us to calculate that second possible angle by simply subtracting the first possible angle from pi. In other words, subtracting the first angle from 180 degrees. In our example, that will give us pi subtract 0 0.85 radians, giving us a second possible angle of 2.29 radians. This means that the two angles that will cause a y value of 3 quarters are 0 0.85 and 2.29 radians. With this figured out, we can now continue with our main procedure. We can say that the expression x minus pi can either equal to 0 0.85 radians or 2.29 radians. This then allows us to continue solving for x. First, Let's find the value of x which will cause the angle to be 0 0.85 radians. Moving the pi to the other side of the equal sign will give us that x could equal to 3.99.
On the other side, what value of x will cause the angle to be 2.29 radians? Isolating x will give us a value of 5.43. This finally allows us to conclude that our zeros will occur at 3.99 and then every 2 pi radians after that or they will occur at 5.43 and then every 2 pi radians after that. Next, we must consider case 2 of finding the zeros of a sine function in which we cannot use the trig circle. Case 2 occurs when we find out that the sine of the angle yields us a negative y coordinate. The following is an example that will produce such an occurrence. Find the zeros of the function y equals 3 times the sine of x minus pi over 2 plus 2. As usual, first determine the period for use later in our conclusion. The period is equal to 2 pi divided by the absolute value of v. In this example, that will equal to 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 1, which is 2 pi. This means that when we find our zero, the conclusion will state that the zeros occur every 2 pi radians apart. Next, let's set the value of y to 0. Isolating the actual sine expression will produce sine of x minus pi over 2 equal to negative 2 over 3. And if you try to search on your trig circle, you will not find the angle which produces a y coordinate of negative 2 over 3. So we have to do some legwork. Using your inverse sine button on your calculator will allow you to at least calculate one of the possible angles that will cause a y coordinate of negative 2 over 3. So, inputting sine inverse of negative 2 over 3 will produce one possible angle of negative 0 0.73 radians. A graphical representation of this angle can be seen in the following diagram. You can see from the diagram that the second possible angle that can cause a y coordinate of negative 2 over 3 occurs at approximately this angle. And this angle can be calculated in the following way. Using our properties of trig points, we can deduce from this graphical diagram that the second angle can be calculated by simply doing negative of pi subtract the first angle. In this example, our second angle will be equal to negative pi subtract negative 0 0.73, that was our first angle, and thereby giving us a second possible angle at negative 2.41 radians. This means that at the angles negative 0 0.73 radians and negative 2.41 radians, we will have a y value of negative 2 thirds. This allows us to return to our main procedure and state that the expression x minus pi over 2 can either equal to negative 0 0.73 radians or to negative 2.41 radians. Continuing our procedure allows us to determine that x could either equal to 0 0.84 or to negative 0 0.84. Finally, completing our conclusion, let's us state that the zeros will occur at 0 0.84 and then every 2 pi radians after that, or at negative 0 0.84 and then every 2 pi radians after that. And that's all there is, ladies and gentlemen, to solving the zeros for a sine function in which the trig circle cannot help us determine our possible angles.